The not knowing is what kills me. And we just, you know, we want justice. He deserves justice. Five years after her son was murdered in a road rage shooting, a mother is vowing to find his killers and she is asking for your help. 20-year-old Eric Mendoza had just left work when he was shot to death on Village Pass. That's off Ritterman on the northeast side. News for San Antonio's Lauren Lee joins us live from downtown public safety headquarters with this mother's heartfelt request. Lauren. You know, it's very difficult for Patty Hernandez to talk about her son's murder, but today she invited us along to retrace the route he took the night he was killed, hoping that this would help someone remember something that could solve the case. I feel I'm close to him right here. Patty Hernandez visits her son's gravesite nearly every day. They took something from me that can never be replaced. In the five years since 20-year-old Eric Mendoza was murdered, she has often wondered where he would be today. Yes, I do. I do. What he'd be doing, a lot of his friends have children already. Who killed her child is still a mystery. Patty avoids the area where it happened, but today she retraced his route. Eric left work at Frito-Lay at 1245 in the morning, October 21st, 2010, a few hours early. He headed from here, probably down to Space Center, and at the Space Center he took a left, and I'm pretty certain of that. He drove northbound on the Interstate 35 access road to Ritterman. We're not certain if, if they were, you know, if his killers were coming on the access along with him or if they exit off the interstate. Um, but we know that they cut him off. What happened next remains unclear, but Eric was on the phone with a friend when a dark colored four door Dodge sedan with two people inside followed him within a matter of minutes. He drove into a nearby neighborhood on Village Row and then turned onto Village Path. Neighbors heard the gunshots. Eric lost control of his truck and crashed into trees and several vehicles. And they attempted to help him. But by the time that the EMS came, he had already passed. Patty hopes this painful journey will encourage someone to speak up about what happened. Eric's life ended here, but his mother's quest for justice never will. Crime Stoppers is offering up to a $20,000 reward for any information in this case. Just call 224 Stop, and as always, you can remain anonymous. Reporting live downtown, Lauren Lee, News 4, San Antonio.